the stranger who kept asking. Okay, so this story happened to me over three years ago, when I was 20 years old. It was already creepy enough, but I did not use Reddit then, so I did not post anything about it. But after what happened yesterday, the story got whole other layer. Three years ago, I worked in a hookah place, which was usually open until midnight. It has two floors and a garden, which you can access through the tunnel directly from the street. Anyway, it was almost midnight, almost everybody left and I was sitting with my friend in the garden, waiting for last customers to leave. We were chatting and planning to go for a beer at my place later. Then, I saw a guy, standing in the tunnel, not moving and looking at us. I watched him for a while and then I shouted, Do you need anything? The guy slowly walked to our table. He was like 30 years old, looked very elegant and he was wearing a suit. He looked at me and asked, very calmly, Do you know where is the fake street? It freaked me out a little bit, because he actually said the name of the street I live in, obviously it is not called the fake street, but I decided to censor it. But since he looked normal, I just gave him the directions, he thanked me and left. Me and my friend agreed, that he seemed to be sober, but creepy. We instantly forgot about him and continued our conversation. But then, ten minutes later, he was in the tunnel again, looking at us. I shouted, did you find it? Then he walked to us and again, very calmly asked, do you know where is the fake street? I was freaked out. There was something chilling about the way he talked plus the street was very close, it was not possible for him not to find it. So I told him, yes. We already told you where it is. He smiled. Oh, have I talked with you yesterday, he said. I looked at my friend and then I answered. No, it was like ten minutes ago. The stranger did not seem surprised by that. He just asked again. So, do you know where the fake street is? I was freaked out, but I gave him the directions again, and I repeat, it was super close, literally the next street. And he walked away. We started to joke and speculate about it with my friend, but our joke suddenly stopped, when I saw him in the tunnel again, ten to twenty minutes later. My friend got angry and he is quite a buffed guy, so he walked straight to the stranger and asked him, what is this? Are you trolling us or what? To which the stranger just calmly said, do you know where is the fake street? My friend freezed for a second, but then he smiled and said, sure, and proceeded to give him completely wrong directions. The stranger thanked him and walked, in the opposite direction. We were pretty freaked out about it, but we kept on making jokes. Half an hour went by, my shift ended and we went to my house. We joked about the possibility of encountering the stranger on the way, but guess what? He was standing directly in front of my house. I started to really freak out, but my friend urged me to approach that man. So we came to the front door. He was just standing there, ignoring us. I started to unlock the door, while my friend asked him, so, you found the street. Have you also found what you were looking for? Stranger looked at him and said, not yet. I am waiting for something. Then he proceeded to look at the front door and do nothing. So, obviously, I convinced my friend to stay with me that night and nothing happened and I did not see the stranger again. Well, that was the story until yesterday. I do not work at that hookah place anymore, but I still live at the same house. Even though I talk about this story quite often with my friends, when we are sharing creepy stories, I haven't been really thinking about it for a long time. So imagine my shock when I was walking home around midnight yesterday and I saw two police cars just a few houses from mine. I went there, saw one of my neighbors and asked what happened, to which they replied, some creep was waiting in front of Novak's house and attacked their 18-years-old son. Thankfully, neighbors saw it and held the man down till the police arrived. I got chills. And sure as hell, when I looked inside of one of those police cars, it was the stranger from three years ago. I don't even want to think about what would have happened that day if my friend wasn't with me.